Alright, so today on the bench I'm going to be testing some NICAD rechargeable batteries. These batteries I used in a previous project. They are generic NICAD 1.2 volt, 2200 milliamp hours. And I used four of these to repair a battery pack that goes in my Fluke Scope meter. It's a BP120 uh, NICAD pack, 4 sub C, 1.2 volt cells. These are a little bit lower capacity than the original. These are 1800 and these are 2200. So we want to verify that. We want to see if these are any, even any good. Um, they did work out okay in the meter, but I want to test the battery on my Rigol DL3021A DC load. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, battery mode. And I'm going to might try to record this, so... I'm going to set one, one amp of constant current. Let's see... Four amp range, we'll stay there. And I want to stop it, cut off of one volt. I haven't, could not find a data sheet on these batteries, so I don't know the characteristics or any specifications on them. So I'm going with using a uh, very similar battery uh, specifications for testing. I'm hoping to get roughly, you know, two hours, two hours and 12 minutes out of this at a one amp draw, but well, I don't know. We're, we're basically experimenting here because we don't have a data sheet. So once I get that in, that's all set, one volt, and I guess it's time to start the test. Once I start to test, the time will, you know, will be have time, watt hours, and milliamp hours. So hopefully, when this drops down to one volt, we'll have our capacity and our watt hours and our time all calculated out for us. So we'll be able to tell what it is. So I'm going to start the test, and we'll come back and see where it, what it is. Okay, so now it's drawing a one amp. And it's starting to calculate its milliamp hours, watt hours, and time. So I will come back here when the test is over and we'll see what we have for our values. All right, so the results are in. The test is completed and the results are almost 1600 milliamps, about two watt hours, and the test ran for an hour and 30, uh, 36 minutes. So that is it. That is the capacity of these batteries. They're a little overrated uh, by about 600 milliamp hours. I have charged these in a fashion that is pretty typical. I couldn't find the direct specification sheet for these batteries, so I had to go buy another sheet that I have found on charging these things. So basically I charged these at about 660 milliamps for about four and a half hours roughly and what I used is a temperature temperature uh, thermocouple on the batteries to read the temperature and once the temperature increased uh, about 10 to 15 maybe just about 20 degrees that's when I stopped the charge and that's typically what you would do on charging these by temperature is when you see an uh, increase in uh, a good increase on temperature for uh, NICADs uh, that is usually the end of charge so I'm pretty sure I've charged these fairly accurately and I mean these numbers are pretty close to a 1600 to watt hours so I would guess that these are probably just slightly overrated a bit but hey it worked in my project. I got about what three hour, over three hours of runtime in my meter. I probably would have gained about another, I don't know, half hour to 45 minutes, maybe maybe an hour if I was had its rated value. But I'm not going to complain for the money I spent on these. Now the longevity, and I don't know. I haven't tested. I've only tested one cell, so I don't know if they're all going to be consistently draining at the same rate or, or give the uh, the result of this is going to be the same, but roughly, uh, uh, I didn't cherry pick any of these. I just picked one at random, and that's the result I got. So if you do pick these batteries up, you can expect a little bit of decrease in capacity of what it's rated for. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit of some battery testing. We haven't done that here on this channel yet, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.